G'day. Today we're doing a service, a transmission service on a 2012 uh, Holden Equip or Amiga. Uh, it's got the six speed transmission, the 6L50 in it. And we'll just go ahead and uh, start doing the service. Now as usual we'll just uh, get the air compressor and just blow around here or clean it and uh, you can see the drain plug there so we can just drain the oil out and before we start anything we just take take for a test run and I'm going to uh, just have a look around check for oil leaks go on these they've got a, a mechatronic uh, plug as well um, which just comes off over here um, check the tile shaft a little bit hard to see the, the center bearing because it's got all these these heat shields there um, Now we're just going to remove this drain plug, it's a 14 mil socket goes on that. Okay, we've just loosened the pan completely and there's been a bit more oil coming out, so you've got to make sure you've got a container that will catch all that. Um, the filling procedure on these, there's a little plug here on the driver's side that comes in from the top, top down like that. Um, that's where you fill it. And in here there'll be a little tube. Um, that's where you adjust the, the oil level. Um, it's very important to not um, go over 50 degrees. Uh, this one's still got the sticker on it. Um, 30 to 50 degrees is where you check it with the motor running or that, that's approximately 86 to 122 Fahrenheit. If you go over 50 degrees, um, just allow it to cool down and then recheck it at that temperature. Anyway, we'll, we'll just pop that pan off now. And there's inside the pan, you can see the magnet and there's a little, little entrance hole there on that tube. That, that's where you set the oil level for it when you're filling it. The filler plugs um, little duber on the on the driver's side or, or the right hand side of the vehicle and it's pushing down. You can see the little filler plug that little unit there. Um, to get that one out on the outside of the box there's a little like a little pin you just pull that up that sort of locks it in place. You can push it up with a screwdriver just gently and then that plug just just wiggle it out it's just a rubber plug might need it might need to use two hands to pull it out but anyway that's that's where you fill it fill it from and that little tube um, on the pan at, or the plug at the back of the pan that's the oil level. Very important again to not go over 50 degrees. Ideally I do it about 45 because by the time you're checking and that it, the temperature will increase pretty quickly. But that's a little rubber plug and that's just the little stopper that pushes in and stops it from popping out. You just push it into the end of it there. Now the service is just basically uh, remove the filter, replace the filter, clean the pan and clean the magnet um, and put it all back together. 
just have you can just have a little look inside make sure there's nothing out of whack um, before you put the the pan seal back on just make sure that pan rails nice and clean um, there's no dirt or anything on it um, you can sometimes reuse it we like to replace the the pan seal but you can reuse it sometimes uh, this transmission's done about a hundred thousand kilometers so uh, we're going to replace it just another note these filters um, occasionally I've, I've a couple of times I've come across where the the actual plastic split on it on the side I haven't got one to show you this one's okay but um, if they develop a split in them um, it can suck air instead of oil so it can also give you problems that would be like uh, very similar to not having enough oil in in the transmission we just use a pair of um, circlip pliers to pull out that seal in there where the filter goes in so make sure you replace that as well and we just use a a bush driver um, just to push it back in find the right one and you just tap it back in gently careful not to um, damage the housing when you're pulling the other one out and before you put the, um, the new filter in just always have a look inside and just check that everything's okay sometimes um, you know, you might get a little bit of plastic um, lodged in there um, from when it comes out of the factory. So I've come across little, little, um, you know, loose bits of plastic and all sorts of things and packaging in there. So just make sure you just have a peek in there um, and make sure the shape of it's all okay. Hasn't come away anywhere, uh, especially on these plastic ones. Sometimes the, the moulding comes apart. Um, they are a throwaway item so um, they try and make them as cheaply as possible and when you push it up it should be just nice and snug you should be able to feel the resistance on the seal and make sure that that little um, can't see it there is located in the, in the right spot um, you won't be able to get the pan on properly you can see how that's just sitting there nicely. Anyway, we're going to go and clean the pan and the magnet. And basically that's the service on one of these. Um, we recommend removing the pan um, for simple reason that the all that fine metal um, on the magnet, uh, once it covers the magnet, the magnet's non-effective. So any fine metal that's floating around in there will become attracted to these solenoids. Now the mechatronics in these are um, very expensive to replace. You need to reflash the um, the unit um, at a dealership or, or something. So um, basically the cleaner you keep a transmission and the cooler, the longer it'll last. Less expense. You can see how much metal fine metal is on that magnet you wouldn't want that um, coming attracted to the solenoids in the transmission it will muck up the um, the operation of it so once again um, when that fine metal goes everywhere on the magnet it reduces the magnetic field of the magnet and it won't work anymore it won't be able to attract any more fine metal that's why regular servicing is a good idea just to keep that magnet clean and to replace the filter. After you've cleaned the, the pan nicely, um, one little trick that I like to do, instead of placing the magnet like so, and the bottom side of the magnet's not actually working, I always like to, to put it up like this. Um, what that does, it allows more um, surface area to be exposed from the magnet. And it'll just collect more rubbish uh, making the magnet more effective 
Um, of course, when you're doing that, you've got to check in the transmission that it's not going to be in the way of anything. In this case, it, it, it's fine. Um, on some transmissions, you can't really do that. So, anyway, just a little, little hint for you. A um, little improvement that doesn't cost any time or money. Putting these new gaskets on, um, they've got like little little pin on there, and it just locates inside the in the pan in there, just to help help you fit it a bit easier. And we've got all the bolts in, um, just loose before we tighten it all up. Now I've put the pan back on. I've put the plug back in, and I'm going to pump in about six litres or probably five and a half litres of fluid and then I can start the engine and take this plug off um, and just measure just till it starts trickling out making sure that the temperature doesn't go over about 45 degrees um, we're using this uh, Tritec full synthetic synthetic fluid um, which is suitable for these transmissions. When you're pumping this in, it's a little bit easier with a hose like that, like so. Now I've put 11 pumps of this in, that's about five and a half litres. And if you have a look, we're already, the transmission, because it was still warm, it's on. 32 degrees, I don't know if you can see that. Oh. Can't get a good... Ah. It's on 30, 33 degrees. So basically what that means is when we start it up it won't be won't take much time for it to warm up to about 45 degrees so that's why I've I've gone and put five and a half litres up and then when I start it I'll quickly come and um, take that plug out and um, just readjust it just till it starts trickling out of there put the plug back on and making sure of course that it, it's not over uh, over temperature do it um, filming as well and do it quickly but uh, we're going to start it up uh, put foot on the brake handbrake on um, go through all the gears and leave it idling and run down and check the oil level again there we go with the motor running it's just trickling out there so I'm going to put the plug back in quickly go so 30 to 30 32 degrees so that's okay got the oil level right um, now we're just going to push that plug back in the hole first we push the, the rubber plug all the way down and then we put the little expander plug in there just to stop that rubber from popping out It's just a matter of locating the little hole and pushing it down. And there we go. Just give it a bit of a clean and a blowout. All that um, spilled a little bit of oil there and on the plug. And we can take it for a test run and just make sure that there's no oil leaks. And that's basically how you do a service on a on the 6L50 transmission. Anyway, I hope that's helped somebody along the way. Helped in uh, you being confident in doing your own service. Thank you for watching.